Hello everybody. Today is Don's birthday, but he ran off to his twin brother Dan's house, so he uh, he's not here right now, but he's 42 today. So wish him happy birthday in the comments. And if anybody was ever curious, I'm 43 and I turned 44 in November. Don is one year and five months younger than me, even though everybody seems to think it's the other way around. But I just got out of the shower and today it is kind of cloudy and cool, but not freezing. I don't think it'll rain. There's quite a bit of blue sky showing up there. Not doing anything right now because Don's not here. But I'll see what happens when Don gets home. I mean, I know we're not going anywhere, but anyway. So while Don's not here and I have nothing to do, I'm going to watch the 71st annual Lilac Festival Parade live on Mackinac Island here over the TV. It's actually streaming from my phone. They're going to have it live in one minute at four o'clock on Facebook, but I see I could stream it to the TV, so that's it's a lot easier to watch it that way. But it's going to start any time now. In the meantime, you can have two big fish staring at you. I'm not sure how much bigger they're going to get, but the biggest one will be a year old on July 3rd, so, which is this one right here. They might be done growing. We don't know. Like how old? Brenna Basin, Brooke. A longtime friend of the family. Of course, we have Coca Cola refreshments. Uh, <laughs> and are famous for their whitefish dip and of course their rum runners. They know but knowing how to ride those horses. So Jack's and Cindy's riding stables are here from, uh, we have Hannah Hotel's Omnibus is original to the hotel, dates back to Okay, that's done. It always ends with all those clowns, and of course I didn't film the whole thing, but I just gave you a little taste of what goes on, and I'm hoping someday we can actually go up there, you know, to it for real, but I'm glad they have the live broadcast of it so we I can at least see, uh, see it even though I can't be there. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Yeah. Hey, you say it's your birthday. I say it's my birthday too. Oh geez. Yeah. <laughs> and your brother bought you booze for your birthday. Booze. What's booze? <laughs> we decided to do something a little different and show you guys this old abandoned grain elevator and there's a train car behind it here in Onaway. All abandoned. You can't go in there. And the feed store is right there. That part is not abandoned, but everything else is. And the guy that owns this place was forced out to shut this building down and put up a new building. And behind this old building of his, there is a uh, old train car that used to be functional that went up and down the old Onaway uh, railroad grade. So here we are at the end of it. It's right up against the building here. And we had to crawl through all this crap to get here. And I hope there's no snakes. Well, at least you don't got to worry about putting the snakes around here. I am not crawl. Are you going to crawl up there? I was just thinking about it. <sighs> he's been drinking today. So, he's weird. <sighs> don't you fall off there. 
I do, no biggie. Yeah, you pull those pants up. <sighs> then don't put my butt crack. I can't help it. You should have took the camera up there with you. That's not gonna work. What Baby. do you want me to do? Throw it at you? <laughs> what, you coming to get it? <sighs> when guys drink Jim Beam, they do things they're not supposed to. Upper handle. Almost up. Hi. Hi. Don't fall off there. Okay, we're on top of the car. It goes way back there. One of the old cars that used to travel up the old Anyway, R and R trail, which you can barely see it right there. Old board, the old greenery. Tell you how close it is. Just a couple feet away. Bring it down to the end. I'll take you guys back to the other end, and then. Uh, We'll get back down below just to show you where to, you guys where the end is. Right there's the end, and there's an old window down on the old greenery building right there. This is right there where the old window is. Been here for a long time. I get back down the end here, and then we'll film the rest of it. I don't think there's anything in this old uh, great car, but I'm gonna go ahead and get back down, and we'll film a little bit more of it. Here on the side, it looks kind of cool. There's a ton of trees in the way, but... There's some graffiti. A little, bit, a little bit anyway. At least it isn't really crappy looking graffiti like you usually get. Yeah. It's kind of artistic. You want to try and work your way through here? I don't know. I'll try. That's why I said if you want to try and work your way through here. All right. Step right next to my foot. All right, there. But I have flip flops on. I know, that's why I'm, <laughs> and then step next to my other foot. Okay, I'm trying to guide Ouch. you along on where to step. Now you should be able to work your way through the rest. All right. And then your best bet is going to be work your way over into this beaten down path here. This is what is this place where pe where deer have been laying, or have people come in here? I think people coming in. Oh, from the be because railroad from the trail. tracks. Because the railroad tracks are just like right there, uh, almost slapping you in the face. Okay. So anyway, I don't know what that says, but it's kind of cool. And it's locked shut, so... Yeah, we don't need to go in there. I was going to try and open it, but it's locked shut, so we don't get the luck going. No, that's okay. S-A-R-A-O-W? Serao? I don't know. It's always hard to read graffiti with their weird stylized letters. But yeah, anyway, it looks kind of cool. A O W. Yeah, whatever that means. But it's not on tracks or anything, but the... Is that the tires still there? Yeah. 
Yeah, that's that's where that's the reel that would be on the tracks originally. This is fresh. This paint is like they just did this. Yeah, it smells fresh. Yeah. Don't smell very old. You can still smell the paint fumes coming off in it. Yeah. So that's brand new graffiti. And I discovered this when I was coming down the train tracks over there when I was going to pay my power bill before I had my car on the road. Yeah. And that's how I discovered this uh, train car. Huh. The only thing I can figure is that they must have set it from off in the tracks onto this spot here and it's been sitting here ever since. Yeah. Well, kind of cool though. I can actually, well, I don't know about that part. What part? About them setting it over here because I can see railroad ties. So it makes me wonder if the oh, railroad ties. Oh, it is on a piece of track, isn't it? Might have come up next to the building. Yeah. It's on a piece of track. Yeah, it's but on a piece. But the track is. Uh, right in right here is buried it's buried but it's right here right, yeah. right where the tip ends of my fingers are yeah so it is sitting on a piece of track yeah underneath looks pretty good though yeah yeah well the, the underneath looks like it's in you know what i would consider is in fair condition yeah it's just a shame we can't get into it because of the lock yeah. You know, I know how to pop those what kind of lock, but I'm not getting to do it no. and get in trouble for it. No, there's probably nothing in there anyway. Probably not. But anyway, we wanted to show you guys something abandoned from around here. So, it's pretty cool. And I finally figured out what it says. Because they wrote it again really slow. Uh, no, really small. S-A-R-R-O-W. Sorrow. So, Don called me over here. There's another one. Another train car. Yep, I'm going to pull this branch out of the way where you can work your way through. Oh, look, blue flowers. Yep. Uh, don't cl climb up on this one. I don't even see yeah, a I'm ladder. Not, you know, I don't even see a ladder to get up on it. Oh, there is a ladder. Oh, there, stay yeah, there off ladder. it. Yeah, I'm going to stay <laughs> off it this time. It says keep off roof. No running board. Don't go up there. No, well, there wasn't a running board on the other one either. Yeah, the other one had the same sign. You know did it? Yes, it did. It said don't go on there. Well, I went on anyway. <laughs> so be lucky you got your footage on that one. <laughs> yeah. Oh, th see this one has crap uh, graffiti, swastikas. And this one here is locked shut too. Yeah, well they don't want people going in there and getting hurt. Well, I know how to pop those kind of locks. Don't do that, do though. Rather, if they're frozen or not. Don't do that. Them. I'm not going to do it because then that's uh, illegal search. Well, breaking it's breaking and entering, and entering, not illegal search. But anyway, got the tires here, too. Tires, yeah. Wheels and track. You can see the track a lot better under here. There's definitely a piece of track here. What? Why? What are you talking about? Oh, I was like, woo, look at this line. Might be for the brakes. Oh. More cars going in here? I don't think so. No, I don't see any more. No, but they've got these. Oh, you can really see the tracks here. Yeah. But with trees growing in them. But they hid these so well back here, nobody can find them unless they know. Oh. Well, you might want to work your way back here. You could get into a building. It's a possibility you could get into this box car. Oh, yeah, it's like connected, but yeah. I don't think you can get in the building. Right, got to, got to think Butch locked it up. Yeah, plus you got to get in through the front. There's houses here, people are going to see that. Right. See us go in there. We don't yeah. need that. Yeah, we don't want the cops getting called on us, but. No. But yeah, it's connected. There's a walkway, but no, we're not going to go in. Yeah. It ain't worth getting in trouble over. Nope. But I figured, well, what the heck? I knew, knew that at least one car was here. 
And this car here was a surprise to me because I didn't know it was here. So, yep. Jeez, I can't believe that there's so many trees grown into these tracks. Yeah, yeah. Apparently, these are old, 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 old tracks. Um, I know the original track was put in in 1908. Wow. I know that much. Hmm. I can't say a whole lot, but at least I can say that much. It was 1908 when this track was ran through here. All right. Well, anyway, we showed the two old cars to you guys, so hopefully you found that interesting. And if we had more abandoned things around to show you, we would. Maybe we can find more things in the future. Check this thing out. Makes me wonder if it's got something to do with uh, maybe the tongues on the cars. I don't know. It's a piece of wood. Piece of wood down to here. And then it's all steel from here on down. Don't take it home. You want to take that home, don't you? Almost. Makes me wonder if it's got something to do with maybe locking the cars together. Maybe. I have no idea. Happy birthday, here's your cake. But you gotta share. Maple pound cake. Marble. <laughs> you want crack? Why? Bring me the crap. <laughs> You're not very appreciative. Tastes the best of my ass. <laughs> It'll be good. Well, as you can see by that last clip, Don has turned into a drunken asshole. Uh, so I'm coming out here to finish the video to do the last clip. Drinking Jim Beam straight out of the bottle is not something he should do. So thanks a lot to his twin brother, Dan, for buying him that garbage and ruining the day. But anyway, I won't go into it too much. Uh, he hates the cake, he won't eat that, and he, uh, we're not gonna eat dinner even though I cooked it, because he hates that, so, whatever. Uh, I'm just gonna finish editing this video and get it all set, and then I'm gonna go to bed. So, uh, I'm gonna say goodnight, and I hope you enjoyed the video, and that you like, subscri subscribe, comment, share, and you're having a good night, and sorry for the horrible negative ending, and uh, we'll see you next time.